Well, Joan Laporta is one of the most powerful men in world football. Mm. He's the president of one of the biggest clubs in world football, Barcelona. But today he was informed by a Spanish judge that he's been placed under formal investigation for suspected bribery. Now, he is one of seven people who's being investigated mm. over payments totalling £6.3 million pounds that were made by Barcelona over a period of 17 years from the club to a former referee called Jose Maria Enriquez Negrera. Now, Negrera wasn't just any old normal referee. He was a senior referee. And also, for a long period, he was a vice president of Spain's referees committee. Now, okay. that is the committee that allocates referees for games in Spain. Mm. So he was a very powerful referee, a senior figure. And the question that is being asked is, why were Barcelona paying him £6.3 million over 17 years? Yeah, that's a remarkable question. I hope we get to the answer of that. So just tell us how we've got to this stage then. Well, uh, Spanish prosecutors have been investigating mm. these payments. Now, we should make it clear that all the people... Uh, who are being investigated, and Barcelona deny any wrongdoing whatsoever. And they say there is an innocent explanation for these payments. What they say is, in Spain, it is quite normal for clubs to pay referees and former referees for advice about technical matters because they want to tell their players how referees act, how they apply the law... And that is why they employ these referees on an ad hoc basis and make these payments for technical reports. Now, the prosecutors are not buying this. And that is why we saw uh, last month the offices of the referees committee, mm -hmm. uh, which are inside the offices of the Spanish Football Federation that you just saw uh, in Madrid, being raided by Spanish police who were looking for documents relating to this case. Now, what the prosecutors believe may have happened from what they have said in court is that Barcelona were getting some kind of benefit from these payments and these benefits were to the detriment of other clubs in Spain. Wow, that's so huge. on the surface it is, you know, it, it does look murky but just mm. because something looks murky mm. uh, doesn't mean that it is murky. No. And Laporta and Barcelona and the other people being investigated the referee, Negrera, his son, is also being investigated. They say there is an innocent explanation for this. We have done absolutely nothing wrong. Crikey, OK. So they say they've done nothing wrong, but this has come at a, the wrong time, really, for Barcelona. There's huge upheaval at the club, isn't there? I mean, on the pitch, things are not going too badly. Uh, Barcelona unbeaten. I think they're third in La Liga, uh, top of their Champions League group as well. Mm. But off the pitch... It has been an absolutely terrible time for the mm. club. We all know about their financial problems. Yeah. Uh, I think their debts are around £1.5 billion. Their stadium, the new camp, uh, has basically been demolished. They're trying to build a new stadium. Nobody knows how long it's going to take to build this new stadium, how much it's going to cost, who is going to pay for it. And, of course, they've been hit really hard by financial fair play rules, which are very, very strict in Spain. Uh, we've seen the past few transfer windows. They've been operating basically with one hand tied behind their back. Mm. They've got very strict wage caps uh, in Spain as well. So it's a very worrying time for uh, the club and the president. And also, it's not just the Spanish authorities who are looking into this. UEFA uh, said that they were investigating this whole Negrera refereeing affair as well. Uh, but they said for the time being they would allow Barcelona to play in the Champions League. That's why they're playing in the Champions League. But I think it's very, very important as far as the future of the club is concerned that they clear their name as quickly as possible. Which was my last question. How long do you think this is going to take? Well, the message coming out of Barcelona is very clear. They say we're basically the victims of, you know, uh, a sort of hit job. We've done absolutely nothing okay. wrong. Uh, in any case, these allegations go back such a long time ago. I should make it clear uh, that the allegations are to do with Laporta's first term as Barcelona president. Right. Uh, he's the Barcelona president now, but his second term started two years ago. 
Uh, so these are to do with his first term, which I think was between 2003 and 2010. And Barcelona would agree that because of the statute of limitations in Spanish law, that these allegations and charges should be thrown out in any case. But I think if you're a Barcelona supporter or if you're associated with the club, you need this dealt with very, very quickly because uh, there's a big cloud hanging over the club on and off the pitch. And also those teams that may well have been infected, potentially, if the, of what they're, if the prosecutors are I mean, alluding to, they're going to want to know, I, surely. You know, I, I think it's dangerous to get into the area of speculation. Sure. But if you're somebody in a Madrid bar this evening or in a Seville bar or somewhere else in Spain, uh, you are probably having a drink and discussing with your friends, why on earth would Barcelona be paying a referee £6.3 million? Pounds? This is a huge amount of money. Barcelona say it was for technical reports and advice. We are totally innocent and we will clear our name.